Many people might be worried that endangered animals are on the verge of extinction, but we want to assure you that an ecological collapse isn't taking place just yet. Thanks to people who dedicated much of their lives researching and saving these animals, they're beginning to increase in population. Hopefully, they won't come back to bite us later on. From animals that no longer existed in the wild to polar bears doing what they need to do to survive, here are animals making a comeback. Number 13. Mountain Gorillas The gorilla is a species that shares a shocking amount of similar DNA to humans, and to better understand our own species, gorillas are necessary to protect. Despite being a target among poachers and hunters, gorillas are making a fine comeback in recent times. Don't tell them that though, since they've certainly been here for years. Mountain gorillas typically live within the Dwindi Impenetrable National Park in Uganda and in the Veranda Mountain Range. A huge success in conservation efforts have helped raise the number from 480 in 2010 to over 1,000 in 2018. Number 12. The Blue Whale The largest species of animals on this list is making a comeback on planet Earth. The species was hunted to near extinction until international treaties were made to leave them alone. They measure about 100 feet long and can weigh 173 tons. That's about the size of 64 Hummers. Larger species of animals tend to be endangered more often than not, partially due to the fact that they're easy to spot by hunters. With each one weighing up to 200 tons each, even a baby inside the mother's womb weighs about 3 tons. It can impressively gain about 200 pounds a day. Not only is it the largest whale, it's also the heaviest species of animal to ever exist. Their size is quite impressive considering that they tend to eat some of the more common small animals such as shrimp, plankton, and krill. Number 11. Giant Pandas The World Wildlife Federation, or WWF, is reporting a rise in the number of great panda bear reservations in the country of China. The number of pandas went from 1,064 from previously being about 1,596 about 10 years ago. These animals need large acres dedicated to areas where bamboo can grow easily, which make environment concerns a challenge. You find it to be rather strange that a bear would only eat plant matter, and many believe that that's what pandas prefer to eat. The truth is that pandas would certainly eat other animals, but they're kind of slow and aren't great hunters. Bamboo, on the other hand, doesn't move too quickly and makes for an easy prey. Pandas will occasionally eat other animals when they get the chance. In any case, they made a 17% population increase over the last decade, which is quite remarkable. Number 10. Polar Bears Believe it or not, polar bears are making a comeback despite many changes to their original habitat. The Norwegian island of Svalbard has noticed quite a bit of polar bears and have even needed to install signs that warn people that polar bears will get you. Females can weigh up to 1,100 pounds while being 8 feet tall and 2 feet. They are excellent swimmers and are known for being able to catch seals underwater. Since human developments, especially in places like Russia's Far East and in northern Canada, infringe upon polar bear territories, attacks can be more common. Despite not having a ton of records right now about how many polar bears there are, they seem to be adapting and even hybridizing with other bears in warmer climates. Number 9. Giant Galapagos Tortoises At one point in time in the 1960s, only 15 Galapagos tortoises existed in the wild. More and more captive-bred tortoises were released into the wild, which helped the population rise to about a thousand. This endangered species goes through some interesting mating rituals, and one of the issues with increasing the population was the matchmaking process. It doesn't get violent or messy, but gets a little bit weird. If you've ever seen two giant tortoises mating, you totally understand. Males can still reproduce until the age of 100, but in order to get the steamy turtle loving going, the male has a competition with other male tortoises in the area. Each male raises his neck, as you can see in this photo, and the one who lifts his head the highest and roars the loudest is considered to be the most attractive by the lady turtle. To make sure she doesn't go away, he then bites the back of her heels. Number 8. Grizzly Bear About 200 years ago, Lewis and Clark had estimated there to be at least 50,000 grizzly bears in the American frontier. Unfortunately, many settlers found them not to only make warm clothing during the winter, but also as a nuisance that they didn't want to deal with. Humans unfamiliar with threats posed by grizzly bears forced them to hunt them. However, these animals can run extremely fast, surprising most people, and can run up to about 30 miles per hour despite their big size. The grizzly is a subspecies of North American brown bear that can weigh up to 800 pounds. They tend to hunt their prey with brute force and are on top of the food chain. Researchers think they have the same strength of five humans and even more when they're enraged. They are very territorial creatures with an acute sense of smell too. Getting too close to their cubs will provoke an attack. At the moment, there appears to be only 1,500 bears left in the lower 48 states and they're still considered to be an endangered species. The population was dwindling in 1976 with only about 176 bears left. 
Number 7. Grey Wolves For a long period of time, about 140 years or so, it was believed that grey wolves were no longer living in the northern European country of the Netherlands anymore. The animal was heavily hunted in the 18 and 1900s and are suddenly making a comeback now. Various sightings of this alpha predator are taking place in countries like Germany, Denmark, and Austria, which leaves a bittersweet taste in some people's mouths. Although some are happy they're back, others believe they still have the potential to be dangerous to their herds of sheep. Number 6. The Andean Condor This massive New World Vulture is found in the Andes Mountains and flying around the Pacific coastlines in South America. It's the largest flying bird in the world going by its weight. The maximum wingspan can reach nearly 11 feet long and only a few seabirds have a wider wingspan. They managed to survive being on the brink of extinction thanks to a program in America that involved raising young chicks. This bird is considered to be a scavenger and will basically eat what's left over of deceased animals. It's the only bird of prey where the male is actually larger than the female. Their nests are normally high up in the Andes Mountains at an average elevation of 16,000 feet. Captive breeding programs have kept this bird from becoming threatened and thankfully due to their isolation at high elevations, they're able to stay alive. Number 5. American Alligator People in the southern United States typically enjoy a good gator hunt every now and then and you don't need to feel quite so guilty anymore. They might not need to worry about hunting an endangered creature now since the number of American alligators out there is on the rise. As you can tell from this graph, crocodile nesting in Florida went through the roof between 1998 to 2002. Healthy American gators can grow their entire life as long as they're well fed, so this definitely requires a decent amount of meat. A full-grown male gator can grow to an average of 15 feet. The longest gator a man claimed to have hunted was found in Louisiana and measured to be about 19 feet. They could begin to become a nuisance to people living in Florida at this point. Are you sure we shouldn't have let these animals just go extinct? Number 4. Hyacinth Macaw You probably know about parrots, but the largest species of parrot is known as the Hyacinth Macaw, which can weigh up to 3.5 kilograms. They're mostly spotted in South America and Brazil and in parts of Bolivia. They enjoy a vast variety of nuts and seeds. Their beaks are so powerful and strong that they can actually break open a coconut with them. They're often blue as you can see here, and only a few are being held captive to ensure their safety. The number in the wild has gradually declined, but on a positive note, they were able to reproduce quite a few under captivity quite quickly. Number 3. The North American Beaver The North American Beaver is a strong and hardworking animal that's capable of constructing dams which improve ecosystems in many cases. Unfortunately, the problem for beavers is that they made excellent hats and secrete a sweet liquid known as castorium. That's right, many natural flavorings, especially ones that taste like raspberries, might actually be a secretion from the butt gland of the beaver. Not only is it used in food, it's also used in perfume adding to the beaver's value. In the 1800s, it's estimated that beavers were all over the place with a population of about 60 million. After being overhunted for their furs, the number went down to the low thousands. The beavers want vengeance for the injustices placed upon them and are slowly growing in numbers. Some believe that beavers will negatively impact the environment by creating still water ponds which actually build up in methane which goes on into the atmosphere and causes global warming. There are an estimated 6 million beavers right now, possibly set on bringing upon the apocalypse. Beavers, are they harmful or helpful? Should we avoid making hats for them? Let us know your opinion in the comment section. Number 2. The Arabian Orcs Brought back from the verge of extinction, the Arabian Oryx had no longer been living in the natural environment. The only ones that were known to exist were being held in captivity. The animal was hunted quite often by men on cars or on camelback with automatic weapons. In the 1950s, the numbers of oryx had seriously began to dwindle. After people began to realize that there were none left to shoot, they started an effort to conserve the animal. Captive breeding programs helped them boost their numbers, eventually reaching 1,200 in the wild in 2019. An additional 6 to 7,000 are being kept in semi-captivity and basically fenced to prevent poaching. And number one, the white rhino. It might not be easy to find, but the heaviest rhino out there is the white rhino found in Africa. It also had an amazing comeback story while being on the verge of extinction. At one point in time, their population of white rhinos was less than 100. But after a century of protection and the creation of wildlife, they're roughly 19 to 20,000. Weighing up to two tons each, after both species of elephants, it's the next heaviest land mammal out there and they might enjoy rooting your safari. Even though they can get a bad reputation at time, they're more likely to get attacked if the mother is provoked. They were once plentiful in Africa and there was over 30 species of rhino at one point in time. It prefers to live in wet grasslands where it can enjoy grazing and feasting upon wild fruits and grass. 
Built like a tank, they're typically strong enough to fight off carnivores like lions. Good thing we still have some of these animals. 